Why, hello everyone, it's your girl Meg, and in today's video, we have quite a bit of a doozy. I am putting a ton of new drugstore makeup for 2022 on my face and giving you some mini reviews. So there are a lot of drugstore releases that have been out in the first part of the year in 2022. There's a lot to go over, so we'll be putting it on my face or I'll give you some mini reviews because I've tried some of this stuff off camera. So some of this is like completely new to me that I'm gonna be trying for the first time today and then some of this I've tried a few times and I have a little bit of thoughts on that I want to share so if you are into drugstore makeup and you see all these new drugstore releases and you're not sure which one to go for I've got a lot to talk about here so go ahead and stay tuned but before you do make sure you hit that thumbs up button hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future uploads if you like beauty if you like mommy stuff if you like travel if you like being with a cool friend stick around here I have all that content for you make sure to follow along on social media where I post way more regularly, especially on my Instagram stories where you can see all the amazing stuff that I'm trying, especially on, I have a lot of foundation wear tests lately on my Instagram as well if you wanna check those out. So let's be friends and let's get into all of this brand new drugstore makeup for 2022. What is worth it? We'll find out. Okay friends, we have a lot to test today, so let's go ahead and get started. I did prep my skin before and I did do some concealer under my eyes and a little bit of color corrector. And I just realized that might have not been the best idea because I'm about to try some a primer, but nonetheless, it's fine, we'll work around it. So for the sake of this video, I actually did try a lot of these products already off camera. Some of them I'm trying for the first time, especially if I have multiple items. I wanna be able to tell you like, I tried this, I like it, I don't, whatever. So there are two new primers that I picked up that are new to the drugstore in 2022. The first one is the NYX Plump Right Back Plumping Serum Primer. And then this is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This reminds me quite a bit. I'll talk about this one first. This is a lot like the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer, or there's like a mint one that they have, and it's the same price, but you get 20% less product. So it's $10, and you get 0.8 ounces, and I know that the Jelly Pop Primer, you get a full ounce. So I'm not sure what is going on there. The Jelly Pop is an Ulta exclusive. This, I've seen at multiple retailers, so it's gonna be a little bit more accessible. It's really the same thing. It's a great dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It is a gripping primer, so it's like, like this nice um, jelly, moisturizing, plumping type primer, and it creates a sticky base to the makeup. The makeup lays on top of it. It holds the makeup on long. So I really like it. It's really nice. I don't like that you get less product for the same price, but it is more accessible and you can find it in a lot more places. And I definitely think it's worth picking up. But if you see the Jelly Pop primer, grab that one over this one. But if you don't see it and you only find this one, just grab that. But the one I'm gonna put on my face today is the NYX Plump Right Back Plumping Serum Primer. So it says skin instantly fills and looks plump, use alone or with foundation. I don't know if it's technically called a gripping primer, it's just supposed to be hydrating and plumping. But I'm gonna kind of avoid my eye and nose area where I do have some concealer on. But I wanna just show you, it's another like very, um, like, jelly looking clear hydrating type of primer. So I'm gonna just put it in these spots today because we are gonna do a foundation in addition to this. Um, and the reason why I did put concealer on first was because we're gonna, we're gonna test a powder foundation. I should have waited and done the primer, then the concealer, then the powder foundation, but that's fine. So this definitely does kind of get a little tacky, so I definitely feel some gripping primer vibes from it. And I have noticed that in when using it off camera, I do notice that it does kind of feel like a gripping primer, but it feels a little bit more hydrating. Um, definitely plumping. I think this is gonna work for a lot of skin types. It's really nice. It's kind of expensive for the drugstore though. It's like $17 or something crazy like that. So just be aware of that, but it is a really good primer and I really like it so far. All right, next up is a brand new foundation launch from e.l.f. This is their new camo powder foundation. 
I got this in the shade light 210N. I think it might be a little dark for me, but this is the shade that I wear in their CC cream and that works, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. We'll have to see in a second. I tried not to watch too many reviews, but I did see one person trying this where they used the little sponge that came with it and they preferred like a brush. So I will just like kind of apply it with a sponge, but then I'm gonna use my um, Complexion Duo brush from e.l.f. just to kind of like work this in a little bit better. So here we go. Oh, it's definitely dark. <laughs> it's definitely dark on me. I'm definitely gonna just have to use this brush. It is really dark when I use the sponge, but the brush, I actually really like it. I think I'm gonna be able to work with it. It seems to be um, blurring the pores a little bit. It does have a blurring look to it. So it's really, oh, it really blurred the pores on my nose. My nose is very textured and that was nice. Definitely gonna have to take it down my neck and maybe a little onto my chest to make sure that it is a nice seamless, like one color look. But the color match isn't terrible now that I have kind of shared, sharing this out with my brush. Okay, so I definitely notice if we zoom in a little bit, I definitely notice that it blurred everything out. It has a nice medium satin matte finish that's sort of like not too flat matte. I still see some like radiance poking through. I still see some healthiness to it. It doesn't feel chalky. It looks really nice on the skin, but it does blur the pores. So it definitely like over top of my nose where I have a lot of texture, it blurred. The cheek area is blurred. It, the only thing with this is the color is just definitely too dark. So if you wear the CC cream, the camo CC cream, go a shade lighter than what you wear in the shade, in the CC cream. But it looks really pretty. I'll definitely check in or I'll um, give an update on what I think at the end of the day when I have this on. So that's really nice. So far it's nice and I'm not a big powder foundation fan. I usually don't really like reach for them very often, but this is really pretty, really nice medium coverage, but it doesn't look too flat. Doesn't look too matte, like it's a nice healthy look. Physicians Formula released these new products called the Butter Buddies and there are kind of like a compliment to their butter bronzer line. If you know that smell, they smell exactly like that. So there's a blush, there's a bronzer, a banana powder, there's an illuminating powder, there's also a highlighter and a mattifying, mattifying powder as well. So I got, they sent me the collection and the highlighter broke, so I'm not gonna be able to use that today, but I have the blush bronzer, the banana powder, which is like a yellow toned powder that you would use under your eyes or to brighten anything, and then an illuminating powder. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my powder puff, which I have right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw the illuminating powder underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna just pop a little bit of that under there, wow, that's really brightening. That is really brightening. Can you guys see that? How it's just like totally brightening up that under eye area. This might be a little too much if you are medium to deep complected. This is a banana powder. And let's put some of that on. Let's put that on my nose. That also seems brightening as well. I'm definitely getting like some brightening effects from these. It's nice, they feel very soft and smooth. Um, again, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to tell on camera. It's pretty bright, like you can probably see around my eyes, but we'll definitely fix that as we do the rest of my makeup. This is the illuminating powder right here, and this is the banana powder. You can see the banana is a little bit more yellow tone, so it's called the baby butter is the, is the banana powder, and the bitter butter is the illuminating powder. The illuminating powder has just a slight sheen to it when you kind of blend it out, and the banana powder 
doesn't quite have it, but it doesn't look flat or matte. So that's kind of the difference between those, it's more yellow tone, but they are both pretty brightening. So yeah, let's go ahead and use the Butter Puff Bronzer. So I have to say that I don't really notice any difference between this and the regular butter bronzer. They seem really similar to me. In fact, let me go grab the butter bronzer and let's swatch it right next to each other. Okay, so here is the butter bronzer in the shade bronzer. It's kind of like their popular shade for their butter bronzer. And then here is the butter puff. They look so similar in the pan, so I'm trying to figure out what the difference is. They're so similar. I think it's pretty much the same thing, just repackaged. I wanna say that the Butter Puff is slightly more yellow, like just so slight, but they really honestly remind me of each other, including the finish. I, I really can't tell much of a difference. So if you like the Butter Bronzer, you will enjoy this because it really feels like the same thing. Okay, I have to show you these. They're not new, but they have been around for a minute and I finally got my hands on them and I have to share with you because they're just amazing and they're only six five or six dollars. They're from Shein. I didn't know Shein made makeup, but I was trying to figure out what the heck these liquid blushes were that everyone was using on like TikTok. And they're called She Glam Color Bloom Liquid Blushes. And I have them in the shade Love Cake, Devoted, and Birthday Suit. Which one's my favorite? Birthday Suit is kind of a nude tone. That one's really pretty. Honestly, they're all really pretty. I'm just gonna put them on the back of my hand so you can see. Birthday Suit. This one is Devoted, which is like a corally kind of color. That's gonna be amazing for summer. And then this one's the one I'm really loving right now, which is Love Cake. And that is a kind of pinky tone. You've probably seen these on Instagram or TikTok where people are going boop, boop, and like blending it in. And honestly, they're so pretty. I've not tried them over powder though, so we're gonna just see how that goes today. But I really wanted to show you them on camera so you could see. They're so pretty. They're just like so easy to work with. I love these applicators and it's a liquid blush. So they're really like kind of different than cream blushes, but they're super forgiving. You need the tiniest bit, just two dots on the cheek. We're just gonna go for it, right? We're gonna go for it. And I had to mention these, even though they're technically not like brand spanking new for 2022, I feel like more people need to know about these in 2022. So can, oh, that worked perfect over my powder foundation. It did not disrupt anything. I'm so impressed. These play well over powder. Aren't these so pretty? They dry down and they last really well. They don't get super greasy looking. I feel like they're gonna be really nice for all skin types. Love Cake is the one that I'm really loving right now. Oh my gosh, these are so good. I cannot believe they're only like five or six dollars. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. They effortlessly tap in, they look beautiful. You can wear it over top of creams, and as we can see here now, it wears amazing over my powders. I'm so impressed. These are super beautiful. You definitely have to try these She Glam blushes. I know these technically aren't at the drugstore, but they are drugstore prices, super affordable, so I really had to mention them because I'm just really loving them, and I know you guys are gonna love them too if you haven't tried them. Okay, we're gonna go back to the Physician's Formula Miss Butterfly Butter Buddies Blush. Um, it is similar in tone. I'm gonna look real blushy today. That's fine, that's fine. We're just gonna use a little bit over it. It is a little pinky colored blush. It has a slight satin finish. Smells like the butter bronzer, like if you're familiar with that. So nice. Um, just putting a little bit over this. This is really pretty, really like this color. I think it's gonna be flattering on a lot of skin tones. Um, I'm not using a whole bunch because I'm very, I'm very blushy today. 
Okay, so the rest of the products I have to talk about are lip and mascara products. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick eyeshadow look like super fast and I'm gonna use a drugstore product. I'll be right back and then let's like move on with the rest of the stuff. All right, I just did a super, super simple eyeshadow look using the e.l.f. Bite Size palettes in rose water and cream and sugar. I kind of mixed around in both of these and came up with that just like super fast because I wanted to like get it over with so we could talk uh, more about stuff in the video. So there are three new mascaras that I picked up that are new for 2022 and I've tried all three off camera and I'm gonna choose my favorite one to apply or maybe I'll apply one to one eye and one to the other, but I don't have three eyes so I can't apply all three today for you. Okay, so the first one is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Cosmic Black. I don't really know exactly what's going on with this one. It's like they mixed Lash Sensational with Sky High. Is Sky High Lash Sensational? Let's find that out. Okay, the original Maybelline Sky High is a, is Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High. So this one is just Cosmic Black. The only difference between this and the original Sky High is that this has really intense black pigments and in, in this packaging. So when I've tried this and I've put it on, I didn't really notice a difference between this and the original Maybelline Sky High and that's because I my intuition was right there. It really is the same mascara, it's just a darker formula, darker pigmented formula. So I'm not gonna put this one on today because I actually have another YouTube video where I've tried this on or I've talked about this before. I'll link it below um, so you can check that out. I've also done some, like a TikTok on this comparing it to Thrive Mascara, I'll also link that below. So if you like the original Maybelline Sky High and you want something a little darker, definitely go for this one. I just noticed it was like the exact same thing so I was like, what is different about this one? So, but there are some other new releases I wanna share with you. There is the Essence Double Trouble Mascara, and there's also the L'Oreal Voluminous Noir Balm Mascara. So um, I will share with you like what the product claims of these are, but in just a second. But the thing with the new Essence Mascara that I thought was really interesting was that one side of the wand is a regular bristly brush, so it's got like the super like bristles, and then on the other side of the wand, so it's kind of curved, so on the underside is regular bristles, and on the top side is like the rubbery bristles. So you kind of get a combination where you can sort of customize like if you like using them for different things. And then the L'Oreal Noir Balm is a bristle, is like a rubber, bristle brush. When I opened this up, I was like, this looks exactly like the Hourglass Unlocked wand to me, like it definitely did. And I was like, if we have a dupe, that would be amazing. So I've tried this a few times and I don't think it's a dupe in the formula because I do feel some people might have problems with this smudging on them. I didn't, but I felt like the application and like using this felt very similar to Hourglass Unlocked. However, it's not a tubing mascara. It does easily remove with water. That was kind of one of the things with this one is that it just like it's a balm mascara. Okay, so here's what L'Oreal has to say about this one. It's a breakthrough vegan formula mascara that has bold, clean volume, length, and definition, creating up to seven times fuller lashes. It's washable, lasts all day, is clump, flake, and smudge resistant. I wouldn't say that it's 100% smudge resistant. So it's a balm in mascara. So it's 99 natu 99% natural origin ingredients and lash carrying benefits. I don't know that I care so much about all that as I just want it to perform really well. And um, I did notice, I really like the formula of this. I'll put it on for you. With the la the Essence Double Trouble, I'll have, I have to say that it is not quite up there as Lash Princess is, but it is interesting. I really like the new wand situation that's going on with it. It did give like nice of volume and length, so we're gonna put one on each eye so you guys can see that. My lashes are curled, so let's get this show on the road. We're gonna speed this up like a lot. So here on this side, I'm going to do the L'Oreal Noir Balm. That's one coat, and on this side, we're gonna do the Essence Double Trouble.
Just with one coat, I feel like honestly now they're looking super similar. <laughs> they do give nice length and nice, nice volume. I do feel like I got a slightly more volume and like grip and like separation with this one. But now that I look at this one too, I feel like it's, do it's really nice and I'm getting that nice volume when I went in first with the bristly side and then I used the rubbery wand side to kind of separate everything. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the lashes so we're not sitting here forever so you can see each side. Okay, I had time, I did a second coat. I made sure that the lashes are dry and I sort of cleaned up any little like oopsies I had around them. And I have to say that they look very similar. So both of these mascaras, the Norbalm and the Double Trouble, they have this similar like effect. I did get some good volume and some good length. I do feel like I have a little bit more oomph from the L'Oreal side than I do the Essence side, but like, can you guys even tell? I don't know. I'd say both of these are definitely worth trying. I'm curious to see if this smudges on people who have hooded eyelids. In the reviews, that was one thing that I noticed from some people as a complaint. I don't typically have that problem because my eyes literally sit further out on my head. So my anatomy makes it hard for like mascara to kind of smudge on the upper eyelids. And I have protruding eyes, round eyes. It's just like my anatomy that just prevents that from happening. Like I guess I got lucky there, but if you have that problem, let me know. I wanna know if that is something that you're experiencing because it was something that I noticed in the reviews. I didn't notice it so much with the essence, so definitely try these if you're interested. Okay, now we're down to the end with the lip products and there's quite a few that are just like so amazing. All of these are winners, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop my favorite one on and then we're gonna chat about all of them. Okay, let's chat about the lip products. My favorite combo is on my lips and I'll tell you what that is in a second. I have five different lip products. There's so many good ones, they're all winners. I've been playing with them, love them. This first one is a lip oil by Milani and I was picked this up because I was hoping I would find a Clarins lip oil dupe or alternative. And I think we're pretty close with this one. The only thing that threw me off with it was the scent. I'm not crazy about the cherry lime. It's just weird, but I think if I had a different scent, I would enjoy this a whole lot more, but I do love the formula. Same big doe foot applicator as the Clarins lip oil, and it's just like this gorgeous, juicy, glossy look to the lips, with it, which also feels hydrating. That's what I love about lip oils, is that you get that juicy, glossy look, but it's also hydrating and comfortable on the lips. It feels like you're wearing like kind of a lip mask or a lip balm, if you will. If you've never tried a lip oil, get on it. This one's really, really nice. It's very close. I would say this is a really good alternative to the Clarins lip oil. I wouldn't say it's 100% a dupe, but I need to try some other scents. I think maybe it's the scent that's kind of throwing me off. I'm not crazy about the cherry lime, but maybe the raspberry I think I might enjoy a little bit more. The Clarins lip, lip oil scents are phenomenal, and this one was a little jarring for me, so I'm gonna try another one. I will report back maybe in the description or the comments somewhere if I tried it and I liked the other scent. Okay, second of all are these new Milani lipsticks. So these went crazy viral on TikTok last year for the fall collection, or I guess their original collection that they released. These are the Maybelline Color Fetish Matte Lipsticks, and this is their spring collection, So they have, or a flora collection. So their spring collection that they came out with, with a bunch of like flower inspired um, lipsticks. This is in the shade Peony. It's really beautiful as you can see me applying it here. These feel high-end. They feel like Charlotte Tilbury to me. Like I'm incredibly impressed. They have a beautiful creamy rich matte texture but that like is satin feeling. Very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury like lip cheek lipsticks. This has very much pillow talk vibes. It's not an exact dupe but it's very close. If you like pillow talk you're gonna love this one in the shade Peony. L -l 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 Lovely. This is a new release from L'Oreal. It is their Balm in Gloss. So it's like a comfortable balm that's within a gloss. It has a little bit of pigment. This is in the shade Rose Harmony. It is beautiful, honestly, and very comfortable to, on the lips. You could pair this with a lip liner for more of a 
like defined and glossy lip look if you wanted, or you could definitely just throw this in your purse and wear it by itself. It's absolutely gorgeous and lovely. The formula is great, very comfortable, and I love the shade with it too. It's very flattering. It's not too dark. This like this shade might look a little intimidating in the tube, but it's definitely not dark. It's beautiful. And then these new, these lip liners are new from Essence. This is their Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner. I know that they've had lip liners in the past, but they always like discontinue them and bring them back. But this is what, this was new. This said it was new. And this is in the shade Just Perfect. I love that there's a sharpener on the under, other end of it. It is a nice, you can get it to a nice point. It is really creamy. It is very long wearing and the shade Just Perfect pairs with so many different neutrals. It has a slight rosy tone to it that you can pair with pinky colors. I'm wearing Just Perfect right now paired with the last lip product that I'm gonna share with you and I think it's a great lip liner. I have a feeling that a lot of people are gonna love this. There's a bunch of different like beautiful neutral shades with this. I definitely need to go grab more. I was really impressed by it. It feels very high end to me. And I've been on like a huge lip liner kick lately and this is definitely gone in the rotation for me. Last but not least, this is my favorite lip product release. These are the Wet n Wild Cloud Pouts. And they're unlike any other lip formula I think I've ever tried. They're just absolutely beautiful. They are called a marshmallow lip mousse. And I picked out the, my four favorite shades. Wet n Wild sent me the collection. And I have to say, like, this is one of my favorite drugstore lip products in a long time. Like, it's so nice. It is such a unique formula. It is a very like hydrating, comfortable, moussey cloud pout is a great way to describe it comfortable satin matte lip. So it's got like a nice matte with a slight satin finish to it. But if you hate the idea of wearing a matte lipstick because they're so drying, like a liquid lipstick, these are not dry. They're so comfortable. They're beautiful. They smell like marshmallows and they're so comfortable and like blurring. They kind of blur out all the imperfections on the lips. Like it just no like texture enhance. Your lines are not gonna be enhanced with these. And I am wearing the shade, girl, you're wit. <laughs> but I also love the shade um, Marshmallow Madness. I really love the shade Fluffernutter for like a really, really awesome nude. Mm. And I really also love the shade Cotton Candy Skies. I will swatch all of them on my hand. I just they're so pretty and the shades in this collection they absolutely nailed it i am blown away with how beautiful the shades are you guys are gonna flip they're so pretty and i've been asked questions on instagram stories all the time it's like what lip are you wearing and i've been wearing these so much so this is fluffernutter it's like a really pretty pale nude pairs amazing with lip liners this is um marshmallow madness this one is Girl You're Whipped, which is what I have on my lips right now. And this one is Cotton Candy Skies, which is more of a cool toned, pinky sort of pink, purpley pink. I don't know, it's really pretty. All these are gorgeous. They sm oh, smell amazing, they're blurring. You have to try them, please try them. They're so pretty, okay? If you've tried them, please let me know. And that's it, you guys. That is all the drugstore makeup that I've tried and I some things, like I said, I've tried and I, I knew that I liked and then some things I was trying for the first time today. I have to say, I was really impressed, like shockingly impressed with the e.l.f. powder foundation. I think it looks great now that I have it all blended in and with my makeup finished. I definitely think it looks great. I would recommend you shave down one than what you think you need. The things that I think I was like kind of on the the ones that were like, nah, I don't know about these, but they're nice are the Butter Buddies. They're really nice, but I'm not like, my, my socks are not blown off because I feel like this is literally the exact same as the Butter Bronzer. And the powders are nice and I'll continue to play with the Illuminating and Banana about powders, but I'm just not like as blown away as I think I am by the foundation and the lip products. The lip products are phenomenal. Every single one of those I would recommend. Oh, and the primers, absolutely love the primers. Would recommend both of those. I talked about those at, at length though. The mascaras as well were not ones that I'm like, I found my new favorite drugstore mascara. They're nice and I definitely think you should try them. I didn't have any issues with them. 
but that's another thing that I'm not like jumping up and down over are the buddy butter buddies and the mascaras that I have tried today, but the rest I'm like really impressed with. The butter buddies I definitely need to play with more and the mascaras I feel like you'll get a better feel with the longer that you use them. And then like seriously, even though this is technically not a drugstore product, you have to try these She Glam blushes. They're so good. I'm doing a quick clip before we end this video to let you know that I've worn this e.l.f. foundation and the rest of this makeup all day. And this is what we're looking like at the very end of the day. Um, I feel like the foundation held up beautifully. I didn't even use any setting spray and I'm usually using like all sorts of setting sprays. And um, I think it oxidized just a little bit. So I really think a lighter shade is gonna suit me much better. But once I get that, I think it's gonna be a really great foundation. I'm usually not one that loves powder foundations, but this is wearing really well. And honestly, everything else, like the blushes are still popping. That's it for today's video. Did you guys discover any new drugstore makeup you wanna give a try? Let a girl know. I am so excited about all of these launches, quite honestly, and I hope that you find something that you're gonna love, or if you've tried anything, let me know in the comments. I wanna like have a little discussion. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.